How do you turn on intent-driven design in Fusion? Up until this point, Fusion has had the designed workspace where you make your components and your bodies. Fusion is moving to a new workflow called intent-driven design. It's going to be coming out in 2026, but you can preview it now if you want to get used to the workflow. In order to turn on intent-driven design in Fusion, go to Preferences, then under Preview Features. Here you can turn on the intent-driven design experience. As it says, it enables a workflow that lets you model individual components in part designs, then insert and define relationships between them in assembly designs. You can also create hybrid designs where you model internal components, insert external components, and define relationships between them. This hybrid design is basically how you've used Fusion up until this point. Assembly designs will be made only of components. Part designs will have bodies, but they'll be a single component. I will go over the new intent-driven design experience in Fusion, but first you need to be able to turn it on so you can even use it at all. Click this box and select Apply. It says that you need to restart to turn on the intent-driven design experience. Just press OK and then OK. Once you've restarted Fusion, you'll see the intent-driven design preview features are enabled. So this way you can work with the new ways that Fusion is going to be, but don't worry, all your old designs will default to hybrid designs. And if you change your mind, you can convert a design to a different type after it's created. Fusion claims that this experience provides tailored toolbars for each design type, improves team collaboration workflows, and streamlines downstream data consumption in process like BOM. Hopefully you get to try out the Fusion intent-driven design preview features before they become standard. Happy 3D modeling.